They just keep fighting with each other. Where did you pull cocktails out of? What is happening? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be continuing on with the Family Tree Legacy Challenge. If this is your first episode of the challenge and you would like to start from the beginning, episode one will be linked right up here. For the rest of us, this is hopefully the last episode that Olive is a teenager. I didn't think it would take 18 episodes for Olive to reach adulthood, but I'm pretty sure that's where we're at. It's like 18 years. It feels like forever. For today's episode, we have Olive's last day of high school. And unfortunately, because I had too much fun exploring the jungle, Olive never went to cheer practice, so she's not going to be cheer captain. She has all the things for it. She's just never going to go to practice again. Um, so that's a little bit unfortunate. Hopefully, maybe, maybe we'll be prom royalty. Because I swear to God, if it's Chastity and Yusin again, because I'm pretty sure they were the other two, um, I'm not, I'm not going to be okay with that. We also don't have a date to prom. There's a lot that we have to do in this episode. So let's go ahead and get into it. If you enjoy this video, make sure you like it. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Let's get back to the challenge. Also, I changed my hair and I don't know how I feel about it yet. All right. It is 630 on Friday. Saturday is Olive's birthday. So after prom, Olive's birthday. Also New Year's Eve. A lot happening on Saturday. Olive still has looming dread, apparently, from a fear of fire. Okay. She also wants to fish more and up that skill, so that's good. Be friendly with Ruben and get some sleep. Oh, no, she's so tired. Girl, you have school in an hour. Um, Forget the food. Go to sleep. And Ruben is also so exhausted. Buddy, bust out a nap. Do we have any instant sleep? For sleep replacement, I think I can probably get some. We should have enough rewards. Yeah, he's got he's got almost 6,000, so grab one of those. And also grab one for Olive. She's got 11,000. We're doing pretty good there. We can definitely get some money trees when we move out. Probably didn't do our homework or study for the test, um, but I think we'll be fine. Girl, just wake up and drink this. Also, Ruben, wake up and drink this. Family's struggling. Sherry and Jason doing amazing. All right, off to our last day of school. And we're going to go. That would have been so sad if I accidentally hit send alone. Just completely missed the last day. I kind of want to see if anyone's going to ask us or Ruben to prom, but also we could just ask people. Girl, come in here and study for your exam. And Ruben, also study for your exam. Your grades are not great. And also your aspiration, you're supposed to do your homework five times, and we somehow haven't done that yet. They are not coming in here. Get in here. Why can't you go to school? Okay, they can go there, but they couldn't get to the bookshelf. Oh, she also wants to harvest a plant. That's great. Just pinning all of these things that are aspiration related. That girl just screamed about nothing. What was that? You were just excited? The great outdoors from having that lifestyle. She's happy. She's also ovulating. Good to know. Last resort bush nap. Apparently he napped in a bush. I don't remember that happening. Also, he had like a negative attraction thing that was here for a second. So there's someone around that he finds very unattractive. They just keep fighting with each other. Please study for your exam, bud. My kids are having a time. Olive is attending her exam, like, super early. She's still got 20 minutes of free time, but she's just in here. What's up, Branson? Right, he's just paranoid, isn't he? All the time. Oh, the teenager walk. Ruben, get it together. Huh. Very tense. You need, you need to calm down. You need to take your exam. Girl, sit down. No, don't practice debate. Take your exam. You have an exam. That's like the only thing today. Take the exam. Their full autonomy really said, I'm going to be autonomous today. There was also an update right before I started today, so I'm not sure what all that update entailed. I have not read through it. Let's see. So I don't think the unattractive person is in this room for Ruben. He seems fine. A difficult problem. Copperdale is surrounded by a lake. I think we've already had this question. So we can either rely on our logic skill or wing it. And I think we have a logic skill, so let's rely on it. Ooh, 
Olive trusted her understanding of the subject matter and felt like she gave a pretty good answer to the question. Large skill based boost. Amazing. Now I'm curious, do we actually have a decent logic skill? It's a two. It could be worse. I guess because also you're a teenager. Like, how good are your skills in general? Ruben, did you finish your test? Where are you going? He's getting an apple. You can also get, like, full lunch. You don't have to just eat an apple. These two are talking to each other nonstop. Did you guys become, like, best friends? Oh, they're, they have a very good relationship, her and Ruben. Hey, boyfriend. I'm still upset at you. Go <laughs> see how Peyton's doing. He seems sad. I wonder if he's still upset because... <laughs> Ruben rejected him? Familial distress from being near family. I just need to escape. What? Girl, you're aging up like tomorrow and you're moving out, so you will get away soon enough. There we go. Oh, wait. No! I thought he was finally asking. Hey, this could be fun. She's literally sitting next to him. She's sitting at the same table as them. Hey, this could be fun. Peyton wants to go to prom with Ruben as friends. Does he want to go? Why? Why? <laughs> Why does this keep happening? Peyton, what? Is it because Olive's supposed to age up so they think that she wouldn't go to prom? Like, I'm so confused. Also, what's funny, I didn't even put this together. Olive's birthday is her, like, her 18th birthday is on prom. My 18th birthday was also on my prom. We have that in common. I don't know. Honestly, Peyton, I'm ready to break up over this. No, I don't think Ruben wants to go with you. See, now he's all, like, moody and upset. Get over it, dude. Because, Ruben, you should ask Melvin. He wants to go with Melvin. That's who I assume he wants to go with. But like, I don't know, him and Olive have been beefing today and maybe it's over her boyfriend. I'm not sure. Can we in the hallway, can we ask Melvin to prom? Ask to prom, not even as friends, just ask to prom. Be like, prom? Because I think they have a little bit of romance and then at least Melvin's off the table or Ruben's off the table. Oh, you're just asking in front of everyone? Push him. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> what is happening? I don't know what to do. Do I just send my kids together as friends because these boys suck? Jason is such a good, good role model, Diamond. You're right. You are right. I don't know what to do. He's like... I mean, Carson keeps messing up, messaging us. Do we like Carson? How do we feel about Carson? Do we know Carson? We do. We find Carson very attractive. I mean, I could just ask Carson as friends. Ask Carson to prom. Just like full on ask. Let's just see. Maybe it'll happen. And this is unlikely to work, but if this works, this means Melvin sucks. I didn't. What? You're real. It. Yeah, but Ugh, as if. No way, no way I'll go to prom with you. I was like, yeah, it's working, and then it didn't work. This sucks. This teacher's pregnant again. Well, obviously not Branson, because they're beefing. My boy's going to have to go <laughs> with Peyton, because no one else wants to go with him. That's so sad. I'm so mad at Melvin right now. Everybody taking their exams. You guys here? You're good. <sighs> oh, right. So Peyton and Ruben have a terrible relationship now because we rejected him twice. It should not be a problem. It should not hurt your relationship that much when you reject someone for prom. He's like out here crying. Buddy, you should have just asked your girlfriend to prom. You should also be taking your exam. I just want to hang out with Ruben. Look at that sad, sad lip. This day is not going how I thought it would. Ruben, get back here. Take your exam. Take your exam. You're not going to go take a shower. Olive, I swear to God, get back here and take your exam. I'm so over high school. <laughs> Ruben is back from school. Friday nights are great. We're not home yet. We're turning B's into A's. So apparently he still, still has like a B. Um, 
and Olive did great, as she always does. Ruben did pretty good in an exam. Olive aced her exams. Girl, who do you want to go to prom with? Do you even want to go to prom? Do we just skip it? Do we go solo? Do we get a revenge dress and just go solo? All right, Ruben, I do want you to make up with Peyton if he's here. Just go discuss some games. Let's, let's go try to fix this because you guys are friends. Listen, it's my last day of high school. Leave me alone. I know she's performing superbly. It's her last day. Can you ask your sibling to go to prom as friends? Dad? The game is so confused. Hey, honey, it's dad. When are you going to come and visit? The update made more problems for me. I put all my love into raising you. The least you could do is drop by once in a while. I live with you. I live with you. I'll be home in like 20 minutes. I'll yeah, visit you tomorrow. What's happening? Let's ask Peyton to prom and see if he'll even go with us. He's our boyfriend. We have full relationship bar, full romance bar. Are you going to go to prom with us, boyfriend? Are you going to avoid us? What is this face? Why are you acting too cool? Sure, I guess I'll go to prom with you. Oh, Anna Herb. Sir Pava. Oh, we're breaking up. It's an awkward encounter. Why is she upset as if she had peed herself? Oh, she's recalling a milestone. Got it. And she's still nervous about her crush. I'm... I'm honestly so confused at my game right now. So confused at it. Glad Peyton's not excited to go to prom with us. I'm going to have him ask Melvin to go as a friend for Ruben. Let's see if he'll at least go with us as friends because honestly, my game is bugging. It should not be that hard to get both of my Sims dates when they both have very healthy social lives. And one of them has a boyfriend. Yes, I will totally go to prom with you. What, as friends? Kay. Kay, Melvin. Real night and day flip-flop there. All right, my kids have secured dates. Let's go home. Let's go home. This place is awful. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> you never have to come back here, Olive. And I don't think you have practice today. No, because it doesn't start ever, even though it acts like we're just a cheerleading teammate. But when we ended last time, her performance was full. Like, she had a check mark. Like, all she had to do was go to the thing. But now that's gone. So I'm just very confused. Got me questioning if I'm playing the right save file. <laughs> Let's take a look. You got a bunch of stuff. Are these going to ever expire? I don't think so. Can I plant these? We can. Okay, we're going to plant those when we move. She got some cool stuff. Let's extract our fossils, see what we get. A fossilized udder. Okay. Um, and a pre-pre-pre-sim head. All right. I wanted to also see... Okay, so here's like the death relic base. Oh, you can fuse it with a different relic that we haven't discovered yet, but it needs this. Oh, wait. I have it right here. Why does it say it's... Okay, I'm going to save my game because I'm scared this is going to kill me. But I want to try to do this little fusing thing and see what happens. But I'm scared. Fuse with this. Oh, Bean is very unhappy over here. Since when do we have an easel? Did I always have an easel in this yard? Oh. Ooh. <laughs> <La Mona. laughs> okay. So we did that. I was given no information and you can insert a crystal. She needs a refined crystal in her inventory to fuse with this relic. You'll know more information if you view it from your inventory. Okay. It just says undiscovered. Okay. So I have no information. We also have this artifact shaped dirt clump 
but we need that table. I'm just going to buy it because we have so much money. So I think for this generation, when Olive moves out, I'm actually going to have Sherry and Jason buy her plot of land and like rent it out to her for like a very, very cheap rent. Because technically in this with the storyline, her parents are supposed to buy her like this plot of land so she could go farming. But that's if you start this challenge as like a young adult and you don't actually have a family that's pre-created. But since we have the four rent expansion pack now, I thought it would be good to just like have them own that property and that land and they're like hey if you want to just move over there you should do that where's the artifact table okay it's an archaeology workbench that's what it's called also no idea whose inventory that easel went into does anyone have it yeah it's here i don't why did we have an easel i don't remember buying this at all okay let's go ahead and uncover our artifact nope she did literally nothing Uncover the artifact. I know you want to garden, but please uncover this artifact. <laughs> uncover the artifact. Is it not working? There you go. She couldn't put it on there. I had to do it. Fossilized udder. Wow, look at that. What was this one? Oh, just like a skull. Terrifying. I'm going to sell these because <laughs> there's no reason not to. Ooh, 225. I don't think this artifact table is working like at all she's been she's been doing this for a minute she really has to pee um she's been trying to uncover that for like four hours i didn't think it would take that long so i'm just gonna put it back in her inventory and we will deal with all of that later she's feeling tense she just needs to hang out let's play a multiplayer game with the whole fam they can all hang out Will Mario Party bring them together or tear them apart? Also, I'm pretty sure it's like Wii Sports. <laughs> Bowling. She is very focused. She is like gamer focused right now. Also, Jason likes metal music. Absolutely, man. Oh, did we win? From Winning Party Frenzy, Olive won. That's my girl. Yeah, we're about to sell another like 60,000 of money fruit. 15, 15 is 30 plus like 12 so that's like 42 plus 22 so yeah we're looking at roughly like 65,000 simoleons and also we can evolve this one so it's now a perfect quality plant yeah we have 178,000 simoleons I think they can definitely buy her property and give her like a dollar rent <laughs> Sherry hey you actually visited <laughs> hey you actually visited us like you said you would oh you're such a good kid we love you I live here mom I think our parents have dementia and it's not funny because dementia isn't funny but wow game what? sherry's also having a 7 a.m cocktail because <laughs> it's new year's eve oh and so is she what is this drink where did you get it where did you pull cocktails out of we don't have a bar at least if we do, I don't know where it's at. What type of drink is this? This looks this looks like an alcoholic beverage, so. Like, yeah, she's still a teen. Still a teen. Girl, you need to go to bed. Finish your cocktail and go to bed. No, no coffee. Sleep. Promise tonight. I just gave my husband a whole update on what's happened so far in this episode, and I just feel unhinged. Sherry is very sad. She's now mourning someone. Does it tell us? We didn't get an alert. We didn't get a call. She's just suddenly mourning the loss of a friend and also sad about her family dynamic. Oh, Tyrone died. Girl, that's okay. That might be harsh. <laughs> Watch on Lucky Chef. This is fine. Guess Tyrone can't confess his love anymore unless he's a ghost. Waiting for that to happen with the way <laughs> this game's been going today. Oh, Grayson died too. When did he die? That's sad. Okay. But Sherry thinks she didn't know Grayson. But she definitely does because it's like Jason's best friend. Did they die at the same time? Oh, apparently Tyrone turned his life around and became a painter. He used to be a criminal. Good for him. He's still a bro slob who's childish. Okay, we apparently had good compatibility, but it wasn't going to happen. You can go nature walking. That's so cute. I'm going to have him do that after he makes a resolution. And Sherry, yours is going to be write a book because you need to finish 
the books that we've started. He was out here. We have a conspiracy theorist in town. Okay. Ooh, spicy mushrooms across the street. I'm going to have Olive come and like harvest and do all the gardening. That way we have all the plants. So that way we can put them in our garden when we move and don't have to buy them. A false morel mushroom. Okay. Ooh, an elixir of fertility. This is all the herbalism that I'm going to have to learn about. <gasps> Diamond, Diamond got married. Why weren't we invited? Diamond Salas calling to chat. Do you want, do you want to answer? Yes. <gasps> Our baby got married. Who did she marry? This person, Cipriano Salas. Cipriano Salas? I'm not sure how to say his name. Um, but this guy will have to, uh, she found someone that she likes. Look at that. She was single last episode and now she's married. Ruben's getting a call. We're having a get together before prom. Do you want to join? It's at Branson's house though, which they're rivals. But yeah, I mean, no, no, we're not going there. We're going to invite our dates over. We're going to take pictures in the photo booth at home. Okay, girl. Let's go home. You seem to need a shower really badly. Um, I don't want you stinky at prom, so come take a shower. You can also sing in the shower. That's fine. Mom, I was about to use that. Girl, you can't use that one. Your mom's in there. Ruben's worried about what he's going to do. You know, pick something you like. Anything you like. How do we still not have enough bathrooms? Yes. Come, come up here and take a bath, and then you're going to eat some buttered popcorn? That's fine. What about you, Ruben? You're feeling pretty good. You seem to be doing well. Let's go ahead and invite Melvin over. And you can also invite Peyton to hang out. That way we're all together. Melvin is here. He's probably going to go play on our computer. Great. Let's, before you go up there, though, get you changed into your formal wear. Ruben, you also need to change. I need to make sure I didn't accidentally match any of the boys. I also want to get this, like, full-blown photo studio thing and see if we can use it to take pictures all right olive is out of the shower great let's put you in your formal wear as well i updated her dress it's another green dress there we go stunning um let's also the sink is disgusting conceal your acne and brush your teeth need you feeling good looking good <laughs> It's funny that the backdrop that it sets for like outdoors basically looks exactly how it looks over here. Jason, dad, can you take pictures for us? Take group photo of adults. Okay, so they count as adults now. You can only do two at a time? That's a group photo? Okay, finally we can get some full body shots. You can't change their pose though? Oh, look, he has green shoes. They match her dress. I forgot I did that. You. She also failed at concealing her acne. I can tell. Oh, they look cute. Look at them. Oh, there we go. You can change the orientation. I didn't know that. That's so much better. Oh, Olive, I'm hideous. My face is a mess. I can't go anywhere looking at this. What do I do? Let's just do try some light makeup. It's going to be okay. It's prom. It happens. We all have some rough makeup. I think it's funny too. I'm thinking me and Olive are the same, right? My 18th birthday was my prom also. I also wore a green dress. Uh, we'll see if she's prom royalty. I did not win, but I was on court. I'm hoping she is. Oh, okay. Let's do the siblings. The siblings for sure. No, no. This is the one I really want. <laughs> do the siblings. Get out here. Come on, kids. Yay. I love this. I love this so much. We're going to do the big photos. They're so stinking cute. This is definitely going up on the wall in the house. Oh, I love it. Okay, let's make sure those turned out okay, because it's so cute. We're going to put the baby photos away, because also we don't have one of Ruben, and also they're kind of glitchy, and we're just going to put this here instead. They're so cute. I love them. Do one more of Olive and Peyton. Oh, I guess we could do, like, Olive and Sherry. Why did you change your clothes? This. This right here is the epitome of my issues with Peyton right now. What is this? He changed his clothes. She's looking confident and amazing. And he's got a sad face. What about with mom? But mom's an adult. Oh, mom's sleeping. Mom, wake up. There we go. Stop being embarrassed. Let's get rid of these things. I need you in a happy mood. I will cheat for Sherry's happiness. 
See, why can't I do three? I want it with both of... I want mom and the kids. Mom is starting. I can't take pictures with mom before prom. Okay. We'll take them later, mom. I also meant to have mom make a cake. I messed up. Time management. Not my strong suit. Did I not select the other two to come with us? I might not have. Also, why did we show up not in our formal wear? We left the house in it. There we go. You're at least dressed. Olive is so hungry. Well, the good thing is you're at prom and for the activities, eat something is one of them. Also voting. Let's vote Ruben for prom jester and prom royalty. Oh, Melvin's got a different outfit on and I kind of like it. I don't know where he pulled this out of, um, but we'll vote for Peyton. And I'm going to have Ruben vote for Olive as prom royalty. And prom jester, he would vote for Melvin. You don't have to go to school anymore. Why are you doing your homework? You're aging up tonight too, right? Yeah, he's the same age. Get my kids out here on the dance floor. Look at, what does this fit, Ruben? Or Melvin? Oh, Stefan's out here too. It's like combination prom and New Year's Eve party. It's not really mashing up, like, like world-wise. Honey, are you even having fun? Eat your food so you can dance. Get it, girl. Branson seems so sad. He's very sad. I think Branson has a thing for Olive. I think that's always kind of been a thing. These two bros are just hanging out. Hey, look at Melvin ways that he used to look at us. Can we at least try to slow dance with Peyton? We're going off the dance floor to do it. Got it. Okay, this is cute, though. They're being cute. <laughs> In front of the bathrooms. The prom ceremony is starting. We've been here for like five minutes. The results are in for prom court. I'm happy to announce the winners. Prom royalty, Peyton Bird. Prom jester, Melvin Mitten, Milton. Oh my God, I can't talk. Prom royalty, Peyton Bird. Prom jester, Melvin Minton. Congratulations, please head to the stage. Okay, we tried. <laughs> it's not it's not olive's day <laughs> it's her birthday why is it so cold in here like is there no thermostat in the gym everyone is freezing i'm gonna add one i will say i'm happy that at least like use and lewis and Cher chastity didn't win but i also don't think they're in high school anymore so <sighs> congratulations well, let's go. Where'd our boyfriend go? There he is. We're confronting someone about bullying again. I want to see. It keeps saying confront about bullying. Who are we confronting? Who's out here bullying, girl? She did it when Peyton walked up. Hold on. Wowee, that sim is irresistible. Ruben has a major crush on Carson. Because <laughs> he found out Carson's a cat lover and he said that guy's for me. <laughs> All right, new crush for Ruben. I'm happy for you, man. And I'm happy you're staying pretty consistent. He did wear a skirt. I get it. It's a vibe. His skirt matches this somehow. Ooh, we can add something extra to the punch. Let's go do that. Yeah, get everybody litty. Um, prom is completed. So I can't even get a drink. We did sabotage the vintage glamour fountain. Um,. And we'll avoid grabbing anything from it. Oh, we sabotaged it with something else. Let's keep this party going. Let's go to the after party. Yes, with friends. Um, just everybody. Just everybody. I don't even know who the girl invited us, who that was. I'm happy I took some pictures at home beforehand because there was not time to do photo booth. You get to choose like one thing. Also, it's so cold. I guess we're all changing into our winter gear. 
<laughs> instead of this. I actually think, I think I want to just bring like everybody to our house because it's our birthday and we have to go home and make a cake. So can we travel with everybody that's here back to my place? Because there's not a ton to do here. Okay, we can ride the cuddle carts. We've been there, done that. We lost our virginity on the cuddle carts. We can just travel to my house and have a birthday party. I don't think I invited the girl who invited us, though, because I don't know who she is. And so we're just abandoning her there. And that's kind of sad. But also, I don't really care. If I know her, I'll invite her over. I'll look at the list because now I feel bad for a random sim. Yeah, see, Yusin's a young, a young adult. She couldn't have won. Who is that girl with the two braids that invited us out? Olive doesn't know her. Does Ruben? No, but we also forgot Anna. So invite her to hang out. All right, mom, how are you doing? Can you please bake us a cake real quick? Um, and then we can also do the countdown to midnight together. Let's do a matcha tea cake because it's green. And then do I have a thermostat in my house? Because everyone is wearing like cold weather gear. And so I might not have one. Okay, we do now. Let's set it warmer, even though it costs more. It's fine. Let's actually, we can do the, the photos here. We're not in our outfits anymore, but I think that's fine. I do want to have her take a friendly photo with Melvin in his little thing. I think that would be cute. And then a little romantic photo with Peyton. She's hugging everybody. I'm very confused. Everyone's lining up to hug her. All right, man. Well, you have a new crush on Carson. Is Carson here? I think he's here. I'm pretty sure he just hugged us. He's up in your room. Your crush is in your room? Let's go flirt. Let's go flirt. We're going to flirt with Carson because he's in our room. Oh, he left our room, but we're still going to flirt. He came down to us to flirt. Kaluba. Uh, uh. No. Uh -huh. He's not into it. <laughs> he's not into it. Okay. We were pretty good friends, so I thought I had a shot. But, you know, Carson might not be into men, and I, we'll see. God, that photo of her and Melvin together. It's, it's rough. <laughs> All right, the cake is here. Let's go ahead, add our birthday candles. No one touched this cake. Thank you. New Year's Eve is completed. Technically, it's the day after her birthday, which means we definitely need to age her up. Oh, it acts like her birthday is Sunday. Is it just because we didn't do it? I'm confused. I'm confusion. It's fine. Um, Everybody, come and celebrate the birthday, please. Woo! Alfonso, this is a look. This is this is a whole look. Yorba! Yosta! Jason's so happy. He's like, uh, 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 uh. Go ahead and make a wish, Olive, and blow out your candles. Happy birthday! Peyton's all the way back there. <laughs> Olive has aged up. Her final trait. I think with this challenge, there isn't any set traits that we have to use. We can definitely choose one, but I'm going to randomize and see what we get. Unflirty. We're not doing that one. Perfectionist? Probably not that either. Let me take a look in the list. Ooh, what is this? Practice makes perfect. These sims learn faster, even if they're a little slower at first. That's new. What did that come with? Is that part of the update? Maybe. She could go down the recycling route, but I don't think I'll do that as much. Green Fiend makes sense because they like the eco-friendliness and we're going to have like solar panels and everything. But I also like adventurous. Let's go adventurous. I think that's cute. Because she likes to get out there and she's got that outdoorsy lifestyle and we did, you know, the jungle exploration. And so I think she's kind of got the bug for that. And then I shouldn't have to update this aspiration because it's nature. And so hopefully this doesn't reset everything. So I'm, we're going to see. <laughs> we did graduate with honors, though. Congratulations. Olive has finished her high school experience strong and graduated with honors. Those long hours have paid off, and now it's time to get paid. Starting a career into adulthood will start off with high performance, just like you did in high school. The downfall is we're not getting a real job. So her doing well in high school was not a requirement. Okay, so this did keep us where we are with her aspiration. 
Thank goodness. But we have a diploma now that we can put up. Look at us go. I wonder if we should also age up Melvin and... Is everybody else aging up today? All of our friends should be. Yeah. They're all going to age up. I think I'm going to let them do it on their own. No, actually, I want to do it. We're going to age them up. Let's add birthday candles. Peyton's trying to leave. Peyton, you need to come back. And I need you to blow out these candles. Isn't Do I not have a mod to do that? Oh, I can. I can age up a sim. I'm going to age up Peyton. That's what we're doing. Everybody else, I think, left. We're aging up Peyton because I want to know what trait he ends up with. Because I'll let you your partner has to have the loves the outdoors trait and this will kind of let us know if he gets it or not olive come down here please we need to go ahead and get to know our boyfriend and see if we can figure out his final trait how are you feeling he's a maker which honestly is a pretty good one it's a pretty good one and it actually makes a lot of sense for him not the most sense because he's into art, but I think that's kind of like the close one there. He did get the maker trait. So currently he is not a romantic partner option for all of long term. If you guys are team Peyton, which I am less so of after today's episode, let me know in the comments um, and we'll figure out what we want to do for that. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here because our girl is an adult now. And next episode, we'll be moving out. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.